Welcome to the Pickleball Recovery Podcast, where we highlight products and practices to help you feel better faster, so you can spend less time stiff, sore, and injured, and more time on the court doing what you love. This podcast is sponsored by AlloMD. Don't just mask pain, eliminate it. AlloMD provides intense relief and advances continual repair for both acute injuries and chronic pain. All natural patented technology developed by doctors to get you back in the game fast without the use of opioids, steroids, or ANSAIDs. AlloMD, harnessing the power of pure natural ingredients that provide deep, penetrating repair. Patented, validated, natural. Learn more at www.allomd.com and make sure to use the discount code PBR at checkout to save $5 off your order. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Pickleball Recovery. I'm your host, Tim Ringgold. How you doing? How you doing? Did you play any pickleball today? I hope so. I am due for some pickleball this afternoon. Looking forward to it. And then off to uh, PPA Red Rock. Um, taping this before I get out of town. Uh, by the time you hear this, I'll be back. And uh, so happy belated Easter to you. And I uh, hope your spring is uh, sprung. Yeah. So the rain has finally stopped here in Southern California. Not that I get any sympathy about that, but just happy to start getting back out on the court uh, regularly. And uh, let's see, what else is there to just touch on real quick before we get into this interview? Um, If you would be so kind, um, could you please uh, leave a comment or rate or review, depending on where you are listening to this? If you're on YouTube, like and subscribe to the channel. If you're on Apple, rate and review. If you're on Spotify, rate. Believe it or not, all that stuff helps. And for me, because we don't get to interact directly, it's my way of knowing there are people out there that are enjoying the content I'm putting out for free. So I hope it is uh, worth your time to do that. Thank you in advance. And if you haven't been over to pickleballrecovery.com yet, it is live and we are now uh, providing all kinds of on the court support, off the court support uh, for you on that site um, with discounts. uh, When you click through, use our PBR code for discounts on those products. And then there's a blog there uh, as well, where every week I'll be writing about different products, practices, problems that we're all facing, and uh, you know what's the best practices around taking care of those. So head on over there if you haven't yet. Sure, uh, would love to see you there. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, today's interview is with Mr. Ken Tran, the one of the founders of Takea Water Bottles. Uh, I met Ken on a pickleball court, just coincidentally, in Newport Beach, California, one day, and uh, we immediately hit it off. And then I was like, "Oh, wow, okay, yeah, you, pff, let's talk," because hydration is uh, something that's pretty vital in the recovery world, and let's uh, let's make this happen at some point. So we finally did. And uh, Ken is a like an engineer and a product designer, and his genius is in his elegance of his ideas. And you'll hear all about that, how he thinks through how to make amazing products uh, to help us hydrate. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the other side. Ken Tran, thanks for joining us on Pickleball Recovery. Tim, my pleasure. An honor. I'm really excited we're doing this together at yeah, last. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Um, for those who don't know, we actually met on a pickleball court uh, yeah. as opponents and Sandy's Sunday morning crew yeah. and uh, banging it you know, back and forth against each other. And uh, what I love about pickleball is that you can meet someone as your opponent, but then within a few seconds, you're you turn into friends. Sure. Right. And, uh, and so we started to hit it off right away when someone was being really nice to you. And I was like, why are they being so nice to this guy, Ken? And then someone else (laughs) was like, that's the guy who owns Takea. And I was like, Oh, the, you mean the giant sign on the wall here? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So, uh, we, I was like, dude, let's chat because (laughs) hydration is key to recovery. And so we have a similar passion and here we are. So, um, let's talk a little bit, uh, just first your kind of your story, sure. where are you from? How, how'd you get into pickleball and which came first, your passion for hydration or your passion for pickleball? I would say the passion for hydration. Okay. And then pickleball. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, you know, let me see if I can rewind a little bit. Yeah. Um, 
I have, two, I have two other partners uh, in the business. Okay. Uh, John Lown and Hiroshi uh, Takatani. Okay. Um, and the three of us um, had started a food storage company. Okay. It's called Snapware. All right. It's a uh, food storage that has four latch. Yeah. And uh, we built that business uh, between 2005 to 2010. Okay. And then we sold that business to a very large company called World Kitchen. Congratulations. That owns, you know, Pyrex, Corningware, Corral. Yeah. And uh, in that process, the three of us said, well, we should go start something else. Yeah. Because I was the operation guy, they said, no, you got to stay and help integrate the company. Okay. It'll only take about a year. Well, that year turned into basically five years. Okay. Where uh, they had me over in Singapore running business development for them. Okay. Um, and so... Five years away from the family in Singapore, uh, my wife sort of missed it. We came back to California, and uh, we were trying to have a baby. That, unfortunately, didn't work. And then as soon as I uh, bought a company in New York that makes uh, you know plastic tray for the cosmetic industry, okay. a year into it, my wife called and said, guess what? I'm pregnant. I'm like, whoa. Okay. Who's the dad? No, I'm just kidding. So good. I've been home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's Ken Tran. Tip your waiter. Uh, you know, uh, and so... Is, is the baby blonde? Yeah, no, he's not. Uh, unfortunately, he looks like me. So that's good. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. And, and so I moved back to California, sold the business. Okay. And uh, my two partner that I started the business with said, hey, you got to come into the business. All right. You know, uh, John, my partner, he's getting old. He was retiring. He says, we have a great product here. And this product is a hydration product. Ah, and I was selling glass water bottle when I was in Singapore. Okay. And and so that was doing extremely well. Yeah. The three of us love tennis. So okay. We, so we played tennis. All right. And it was sweaty and it was hot. And we got, God, we got to find a better mousetrap than this at this point. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so when you exercise, you know, Tim, your your core body temperature heats up. And so, how do you cool that right. to keep that endurance going? You do that through cold water. Yeah. And so, the three of us said, hey, we got to find uh, a way t- where we can utilize our skill and talent. John is a, a product idea guy. Okay. Hiroshi, um, you know, his father has owned a business for 65 years that make Nintendo keycaps. No way. And so, quality, Kaizen, that's been instilled in there. And I'm sort of the engineer, okay. you know, and so the three of us got together, you know, learned what, uh, from our vast experience in the food storage, storage side yep. and said, we want to create a water bottle that's going to keep this water ice cold mm. or hot or at any temperature you want. But what's going to be so different about Takea is that we're going to have a universal neck and then we're going to have a cap that basically fit across any water bottle size. So we look at our product portfolio yeah. from a 14 ounce all the way to a 64 it uses the same lid no kidding and whether it's it's insulated double wall or glass or a triton plastic it all fits nice that's the uniqueness that we bring to to the industry at this point really cool yeah and you know we said well what's our mission yeah our mission really is to energize inspire and celebrate the fitness enthusiast. Nice. One refreshing sip at a time. There you go. And that's how, you know, Takea was born. Okay. And we believe that hydration is an all day game. Yes, it is. You know, from morning, we have a product where you can drink your coffee from or your tea. Brilliant. To a protein shaker that you can take out to do workout. Nice. Um, and then a tumbler for you to enjoy in the office. Nice. And then when you go play pickleball, you got a big 64 ounce that you can hydrate for the next, you know, two to three hours. Yeah, at this point. brilliant, brilliant. That's the core of, of the of the of the of the of the business. Love it. And we have two brands. The other brand is called Thermoflask. Okay. That we sell quite a bit over at Costco. Okay. Yeah, and we were just recently featured on the Costco Connection. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you. And small uh, company that nobody's ever heard of, Costco. Yeah, <laughs> small small company. The Inner Pound Gorilla. We love those guys. <laughs> yeah. That's outstanding. Yeah. And and so, yeah, and now pickleball. Yep. Why pickleball is sort of a, you know, cross-generational sport. Yeah. You know, meeting folks like you, Sandy. Yep. You know, and getting beat by a 14-year-old, you know. <laughs> yes. And so, it's a sport that we, we felt that, hey, we could tie our whole team, our whole company together and have fun and build 
that you know um, uh, that team aspect. Nice. You know that family aspect, embracing that family spirit that we we so much love in our culture. Awesome. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Chris Hardy and his son Christopher, who fifty five and eleven. Uh, are playing together. Are, are playing together yeah. uh, in tournaments. Exactly. Uh, you know, and taking people for a ride. They, in fact, recently they played a couple of the Kansas City Chiefs oh, wow. and almost took them in Florida. And afterwards, the two Kansas City Chiefs said, dude, we were so nervous that we were going to lose to you guys because if we went back to the team and said we lost to an 11-year-old, we never would have heard the end of it. But that's the beauty of pickleball. Yes. Right? You can yeah. get your butt handed to you by an 11-year-old. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, right? So, right, right. But that's what right. brings us all together is exactly. it's intergenerational and, and community just like, exactly. we don't exactly. need to know what each other does for a living, yeah. which is what's fun. A lot of yeah. time you don't even know. Yeah. So really cool. And just think about how we met, you yeah. know, and, and continuing to, you know, uh, to find common ground, yep. both business as well as on the court yep. as well. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Yep. So uh, I got to know what, tell me about the name. Mm. Takea, where yeah. does it come from? Is it somebody's yeah. last name? Does it mean something? Yeah, it's really, it's really, it's, it's my partner in, in, in Japan. Okay. Takea is like a bamboo village. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so it's from his his family. Nice. On, on how we formed the company okay. at this point. So the Takea Japan is quite big uh, as well. Okay. You know, in Japan, they make food storage. They make a variety of other products beside hydration. Very cool. But in the US, we're mainly focusing on hydration. Yeah. And now- Pickleball. Yes. Yes. Well, they go, they go hand in hand. Yeah. And I love that w what you said about how do we build a better mousetrap? Yeah. Uh, so many breakthroughs come from trying to solve a problem. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. I have this problem. Yeah. I'm not happy with it. Let's figure out a solution to it. And, exactly. and so many of the people that I meet along the way with pickleball recovery, yeah. that's very much it. What they had a problem they went on a journey to solve that problem. And yeah. along the way, they discovered X, Y, Z, exactly. right? And then exactly. the rest of us benefit from it. Exactly. So uh, thank you uh, for uh, you and your the, your buddies having that problem because yeah. everybody else is benefiting from it now. Yeah, we uh, you know, glad we can bring a solution. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's, that's what's great. And that's one of the great things about like the free market and capitalism and yeah. entrepreneurism is yeah. like, if you have, if there's a problem to be solved and you yeah. have an idea, yeah. Have at it. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like, go. Get, yep. Make something yep. better. And yep. if it's better, people will use it and will like it and that will grow and you'll be rewarded for that. And I think that's one of the great things about, you know, building businesses here and, yep. and, uh, and living this lifestyle. And then Pickle, like, we meet a lot of people who are, like, passionate about this or that and they, they want to solve a problem and help the community. And uh, there is, like... If you want to talk about some of the quickest ways to improve what you're doing on the court, yeah, let's just talk about hydration. Sure, sure. Right? Because sure. your body is the most expensive piece of equipment on the court. True. Yep. Right? Yes. And so um, tell me a little bit about like what have, what have you learned along the way about hydration and let's kind of geek out about it because one of the things I said before we started is I believe most people are undereducated. Not uneducated. It's not that they're uneducated because everybody at some level thinks, oh, hydration. Yeah, that's smart. I should yeah. do that. Right. But the more I read about it, the more I realize I'm an athlete. I didn't even know. And I think most people are undereducated about hydration. So let's kind of geek out a little bit about that. Yeah. You know, I'm by no means an expert. Right. Because I started out. Me neither. Yeah. You know, I started out drinking Coke. <laughs> And, uh, you know, yes. Mountain Dew yes. while I was playing tennis, <laughs> thinking that that's the right drink for me. That's so and good. Then, and then I switched to Gatorade, right. thinking yeah. that, that that was even the, the you know, yes. like, I'm really, you know, performing, yes. Yes. but I'm actually not. Yes. And so as I age, you know, I get wiser, like using sunscreen, Yes. you know, uh, drinking correctly. But when you think about the body, you know, what is it made of? Yeah. Right. 90% is, is mostly is, water. It's mostly water. Yeah. Right. And uh, when you think about cleaning agent, mm. what do you have to have in order to clean? That's really smart. Well, one ingredient is water. water. Without water, you can't flush through the grease. You can't flush through anything. That's really brilliant. So that, to me, was sort of where the light bulb came on. It's like, boy, you need to kind of replenish yep. right? uh, you, that, that water every yep. day. 
And right? it is. It's an everyday thing. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And so I begin to read and sort of understand, you know, you know, why that's so important. And when we, one of our uh, tagline is hydration is an all day game. And that's true. You know, in the morning I wake up and I try to have some tea, mm -hmm. you know, because your body, you know, your core temperature is not really hot. Yep. So you want to make it warm. Yep. You drink a lot of tea. And then, you know, in the afternoon until you play pickleball, it's about hydration yep. at this point. Yep. The question is, well, how much water should you intake? Yes. Right? That's so a common I, question. I don't know if that's what's the right answer. Right. But I've heard something like, hey, if it's uh, if you're if there's if you weigh X amount of pound, yes. you should at a minimum, you know, half of your body weight. So in other words, eighty fluid ounces if right. you weigh, let's say, hundred and sixty pounds, for yes. example. Yes. And I've used that as a as a benchmark. Like that. Like that. And then I try to double that up, you know, prior to a tournament. Yep. And then also after a tournament. Yes. Yes. Because there's, this is one of the things we, we talk about a lot is like before, during, and after when it yes. comes to pickleball, right? Right. And how uh, prehydrate, yeah. right? Uh, your body actually, you if you know you're going to be sweating, the time to fill the tank is not when you're already on the court. Right. It's right. before you even get to the court, you should start pre, exactly. prehydrating, right? If you're thirsty, it's too late. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely right. So then, you know, then the, the question then becomes, okay, well, water. So what other supplement can you add to yep. that as well? Yep. You know, so I've been uh, trying different, you know, formulation. Yeah. Uh, but I certainly think, you know, things like fruits, Having a lot of fruits mm -hmm. and, and, and vegetable mm -hmm. certainly would help yes. along that recovery process at this point. Yeah, like you that. Know, like you and I, we're up, up there in age. Yes. Right? We're like halfway there. Yes. The halfway mark. Not 21 anymore. Right. Rats. Right. And so every time I play these tournaments, I just get sore all yeah. over. And from my back to my yeah. shoulder. Yeah. So how do you, what do you do? Yeah. You know? Yep. I, I hate ice bath, by the way. <laughs> I can't do ice I'm bath. I'm not getting you to do a cold yeah. plunge anytime soon. <laughs> no, I don't know anyone yeah. who likes the ice bath yeah. for what it's worth, right? Yeah. Like, I, I definitely don't like it. In fact, yeah. I'll be doing one later today, and, yeah. and I won't like it, but... Well, it's tough. It is tough. Yeah. But it, a much easier sell is keeping us properly hydrated, right? Like, exactly. how about just some nice cold water? Ooh, that sounds good. Right. That sounds good. Right. So, um, let's talk a little bit about... Uh, you part of the problem, and yeah. uh, I love. There was a great commercial you guys did uh, with, uh, I think Patrick Sullivan Jr. from Jigsaw Health was in the commercial with Catherine Parento. Yeah, where he goes to drink out of a plastic yeah. uh, water bottle that he had had on the court that right. had been cooking in the sun, right? Right, and it's sweating, right? Yep. And he's hot, yep. and he goes to take a drink, yeah. and it's just the wrong temperature, right? And yeah. then there's Catherine with her Takea water bottle, right. and she's like, ah, yeah. hey, Patrick, is that water a little too hot or something along those right, lines? Right, right, right. I right. haven't seen that in a while, but I remember that was a good commercial. Yeah. That was really funny. Um, let's talk about like how do you, like as an engineer, you yeah. probably got into the science of sure. how do I keep water cold on the court and yeah. and what is it that your bottles do so well? Yeah. So the, the bottle that we have is a double wall. Okay. It's vacuum insulated. Okay. What does okay. that mean? So, uh, so let me, let me give you an example. Yeah. Uh, when I first got here, I sent a, a bottle, one of our bottle to uh, a distributor. Okay. I said, why don't you fill up cold water and, you know, put it in the freezer on the refrigerator. Okay. Then take it out. Yep. You know, and, and tell me how it tastes at this point in terms of the temperature. So he took hot water okay. instead of cold water. All right. And then, you know, screw the bottle on and then put it in the refrigerator. Then the next day he called me and said, hey, your bottle doesn't really work. So what do you mean? I put it in the refrigerator and it's still hot. I said, well, that's the intended, that was the intended vacuum insulation. So vacuum insulation is you're keeping and you're retaining that heat, whether it's heat or cold. Got it. Um, we're now taking, so our bottle right now, it can retain heat for like 12 hours. Wow. Cold water for 24. Wow. We've now added a new technology, a copper coated technology. Okay. That goes, you know, uh, on the inner uh, core. Okay. And that has now, we could get up to like 36 hour, you know, of, of maintaining that temperature at wow. this point. 
So really, you know, we want to save the world from lukewarm. <laughs> Yeah, on a mission. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, Patrick, he's so creative. Oh, you know, yes. all his commercials are so creative. They're so creative. And that was a great commercial. Yep. But it speaks about, you know, the value of having a double wall insulated, yeah. um, you know, water bottle at yeah, this point. Totally. And to your point about core body temperature. Yeah. So one of the things people don't realize about pickleball is that we play, and you'll, you rec, you learned this coming from tennis. Yeah. We play more rallies in quicker succession yeah. in pickle than we do in tennis yeah. because you're not walking around a giant court chasing down the ball and yeah. you're not sitting around during service right. and service faults. Right. It's fast. It's fast. Fast pace. Right? Yeah. And I actually read a study about tennis uh, and how the body during that what feels like forever break yeah. the body's core temperature has a chance to actually lower not tremendously but every time in between points when there's 45 seconds the body's immediately going to work at cooling itself yep. off and the heart and the lungs are immediately going to work at resetting yep but the but the temperature thing was really interesting and i thought we don't get that break in pickleball yeah which means during a match yeah our body temperature is cooking, 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 and it doesn't yep. get any breaks, Yep. which is why the only way you're going to get a break is cold water. Yeah. Cold water. Cold water. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll cool down that core temperature and it just enhances your, your endurance at this point. Yeah. 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 It's really, really, really fascinating that, that it's the little things sometimes. That, sure. What, what is it? Uh, small hinges, swing big doors, yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's an engineering thing, yeah. right? That's all I got. I only had one. Um, cool. So you uh, you started, did you, did you immediately come out with like all different shapes and sizes or did you start with like one core thing? How, how have you kind of released your products and what are you yeah. noticing that pickleball players really gravitate? Like yeah. what do people really love? Yeah. So we certainly start out with, you know, a side that was convenient, yep. you know, that fits in a car cup holder, uh, right? That that's you can, smart. That you can put in your purse, that you can travel with, you know. Uh, yes. Uh, but the vision for us all along was uh, to create not just one unique SKU, okay. but a product portfolio yep. at this point. So the concept for us has always been a universal lid. Okay. That can fit across multiple sizes at this point. Gotcha. Because, you know, uh, people like different sizes. You know, yep. kids like the 14, the 16 ounce. Okay. And pickleball enthusiasts, they love the 64 ounce. Yeah. That's why we created it, added a bigger handle. Nice. And because you're out there two, three hours yeah. and you don't want to be refilling that no. at this point. No. No, because yeah. you don't have time. I mean, yeah. we're, we're getting to the next match and it's like a house of cards. Yeah. You just yeah. can't run Ex off the court. And... Exactly. So. Exactly. Smart. Yeah. And so um, now we've added a sling, you know. Okay. So uh, Riley called me up one day and said, hey, you know, I'm in Arizona. Right. You know, the water inside the bottle is nice and cool. Right. But the outside is very hot, Ken. Oh, that's a good point. So he gave me a, a problem to solve. Yeah. And so we ended up now creating a sling. Okay. Right. For the 64, for the 40, and for the 32. Nice. That you can put a jacket over your water bottle. Got it. So keep the heat on the outside, cool it at yep. this point. Yep. It allows you to put your key, your phone, uh, you know, so that you're carrying it at this point. That's smart. Yeah. That's a really good- That's a hook where you can hook it onto the fence as well. That's a good innovation. So it's, yeah, because I used to live in Phoenix and you burn your hands on, yeah. on metal because it's yeah. just cooking. Yeah. So that's really, really cool. Yeah. And, you know, there are other things that, you know, people don't think about. You know, we make the handle a little bit more ergonomic for you to carry. So okay. it doesn't hurt your, your, your hand. Nice. But also like on the um, uh, spout lid, Yep. we added an ice blocker. We patented that. So if you can imagine this, you put ice in there yes. and it's been sitting there for four, five, six hours, right. the ice began to melt, right? Yep. At yep. this point. Yep. But when you chuck down the water, you don't want that little ice going, you no. know. Oh. <laughs> so that blocks it at this point. Wow. Yeah. That's really smart. Yeah. I appreciate touches like that. People wouldn't necessarily yeah. recognize that. Yeah. And all of our bottle are powder coated. So, you know, why powder coat it? Yeah, because, what does that mean? Well, you know, it's a, it's a spray that okay. we add over the stainless steel bottle okay. at this point. All right. It's very, very durable. You know, it's to like a surface four condition. Think about your wheel, right? That goes out, you know, that you're driving your, you know, your okay. rim at this yep. point. Okay. 
And that gets a coating. Okay. And that coating has to be very, very strong so that, you know, through sun and rain, you know, yep. it still maintains that appearance. Yeah. So, same thing with our, our double wall uh, powder coated at this point. Okay. It's dishwasher safe. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because sun wrecks things. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. That's that's really smart as well. Yeah. And I noticed like there's got, you guys, I, one of the things I love about your stuff is it's so elegant. Like there's so there's like minute, like different looks, shapes. Uh, it, let's and, be honest. A water yeah. bottle is not the sexiest product out there, yeah. but you guys have brought some elegance to yeah, all of you. that engineering yeah. so that it's actually like, Oh, I, I enjoy looking at that water bottle. I enjoy holding that water bottle yeah. and I enjoy drinking from that water yeah. bottle. Yeah. So, yeah. so the other point is, you know, like on the lid, for example, we have straw. Yes. Let's talk about the different, because I've seen yeah. the two different, yeah. like sometimes it opens up and people yeah. are, and then yeah. there's just the, the yeah. top. Some people like to chuck their water really fast and that's where the spout comes in. Spout. With the ice blocker. Yes. I'm a other, spout guy. Other like to kind of take it slowly. So yep. we do the, the straw. Gotcha. That's what's going on there. Yeah. Okay. And all of our product have this little boots underneath and yep. that's really to look when you drop it, there's no dent to it at this uh -huh. point. And now we're in the process, Tim, of integrating that bumper, right, okay. you know, into the into the water bottle as well. And now we're thinking about sustainability. Yes. Because we think that's very important. Yes. We have sold over millions and millions of water bottles. Wow. And so if you equate that to, you know, one stainless steel water bottle and how many plastic water bottles you save from going into the ocean. 100%. Yeah. I mean, our team just did some calculation. We're up to like saving 14 billion you know, plastic water bottle from hitting the ocean wow. at this point. Awesome. And now we're working on a new technology. It's called recycle stainless steel. Taking it, you know, things that has been used, uh -huh. recycle. Hmm. And now adding another element to that nice. sustainability as well. Like that. Definitely appreciate that. Yeah. The, yeah, the the stats on plastic water bottles yeah. and, and their impact on the environment are yep. horrifying. Yep. One of the stats that's it, it's so bad also is the amount of oil that it takes to actually make a plastic bottle. Yeah. You can fill a third of the plastic bottle. Sure, sure. And you're like, oh, wow, I didn't, I had yeah. no idea that this yeah. thing is just such a dirty technology sure, sure. for the sure. environment. So sure. yeah, so that's a, that's a good shout too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What have we... What have we forgotten? What have we not covered? You tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm think. I just love like we kind of talked about the designs, the and and the engineering of it. Yeah. The importance of the the core body temperature. Yeah. Um, the one thing, the fun fact that I heard recently, and this is the one I'll pass on here, and I yeah. just wrote a, a a post about it, is the uh, what they call hypo hydration as we pour from into your new champagne flutes that we're going to enjoy some tea in. Yeah. Those of you listening right now, Ken is pouring some lovely Singapore tea. Is that correct? This is TWG tea. Thank you, sir. And this one happens to be called uh, Singapore Paris. Singapore Paris. That Cheers. It. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. So hold, please. Ah. Elegant. Love it. Everything you touch is, you guys really, you're, well, we're now elegant. getting into drinkware as well. Nice. Yeah. That's make, that makes sense. Uh, so hypohydration yeah. was this kind of nerd word I heard okay. recently. Okay. Which is the, it's, you're not dehydrated, but you're not hydrated. Mm. You're like, you're just under hydrated. Okay. So you're running below, it would be like you're driving around, your gas tank isn't empty, but yeah. it's not full either. Right. Yeah. And so when you start to do some sort of exercise, now you're already compromised, yeah. but you don't necessarily notice when you're hypohydrated. It's more of a numbers thing yeah. than a perceptual thing, but it turns yeah. into a performance thing really yeah. quickly. Yeah. And so it just impressed upon me the fact that all of us probably just don't drink the volume we need yeah. throughout the day. And so I'm, yep. I'm glad that you talked about like what's a yep. good benchmark yep. for like 80 ounces if you're 160. Uh, my scale says today I'm 165, so 82.5. It was 160 yesterday. Lord knows what I ate, but uh, that was a good good number <laughs> yeah. that you quoted right there. Yeah. Um, and, and then adding there's this uh, trainer said something like add two to three more glasses of water. Yeah. Uh, in addition to your normal dosage, if yeah. you're going to do athletic performance yep. in the hour 
leading up to yeah. for us yeah. pickle. Yeah. So for those of you listening, like drink more during the day. Yeah. Hit it an extra couple of glasses before you go out. Um, like be drinking on the way to the court. Yeah. Have your tequila water bottle in sure. your sure. cup holder. Sure. So that. And, and then I remember one of my teachers said to me one day for a health class, he's like, if you're thirsty, it's too late. That's your body going, I'm dehydrated. Sure, sure. So you don't want to play until you're thirsty. You want to drink so that you're not. Yeah. And and one, it was funny, I posted this and someone was like, yeah, but I'll have to go pee all the time. And yeah. I was like, not when you're playing pickle because you'll be yeah, sweating it out. Sweating it out. Sure. And if you're in the South where you, uh, or the Southwest where it just evaporates, yeah. you don't notice. Sure, sure. So- uh, it's, I, I think the other important aspect to, to drink a lot of water is, you know, making it tasty. Mm, you know, yeah. We, we have let's have pro- it be fun. Yeah. We have a product called the iced tea pitcher, uh-huh. you know, where we put infuse, you know, fruits, yep. uh, whether it's mint, you know, yep. lime, orange. And I think sometimes that helps me to drink a little bit more yes. water. Yes. Yeah, it makes, I mean, a little it's bit more, more sexy. Rewarding. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of sexy water yeah, at this sexy point. Sexy water. You Hashtag. Know? It seems sort sexy of plain. Sexy water. No, that's great. And, and I don't know, Tim, if you've done any research, but we've just recently installed a, a Kagan machine in our sink. Oh, yes. And what that does is, you know, it elevates the pH level, yes. you know, to like 9.5. Yeah, alkaline water. Alkaline water. So we've been doing a lot of that, you know, Smart. 9.5 here at the office as yeah. well. Yeah, that's a really good shout. If you can yeah. be drinking high pH water, alkaline water, which they yeah. do sell, ironically, in plastic jugs yeah. at Sprouts or Whole Foods, I, yeah. I, I just, it, the irony does not escape me that yeah, they yeah, sell yeah. alkaline water in plastic containers. But, yeah. Yeah. you know, if you can do that, and those Kangen products are really yeah. good because then you're not buying it from a plastic right. container. You're getting it from your sink at this yeah, point. Yeah, you're getting it from your sink. That's yeah. a really good shout as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, Ken. Well, listen, thanks so much for joining us on uh, Pickleball Recovery. Well, thank you so much. Where do people find your products online and in stores? Tell us about. Yeah, we have our own uh, uh, direct.com D2C. Uh, It's TakeaUSA.com. Okay. Or uh, uh, Thermoflask.com as well. Okay. Uh, We sell a lot of our product at Costco. Okay. Target being another one. No way. Yeah. Target. Target. My favorite boutique. Yes. So we're <laughs> pretty much you. yeah in full distribution. You know, Myers, uh we're in Myers, Dunham. Wow. Um, well done. Rite Aid, uh, you know, Best Buy. Dude. Best Buy sells yeah, Best Buy. You got it. Best Buy. Yeah. It's not a. It's Best not a. Buy, it's not an bottle. LCD screen. Yeah, yes, Best <laughs> Buy, Rite Aid. You know, you <laughs> go amazing. to you go to a drugstore. Drug you can store. find our product yeah. as well. Well done. Yeah, we think it should be everywhere. I, I mean, agree. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, nice job. You. All thank right. So and much. then uh, your socials, is it uh, like Instagram? How do people follow Takea? Is it just Takea? Yeah. At yeah. Takea? Yeah, Takea. Okay. Dot com. All right. Yeah. There it is. Very good. All right. Thanks for joining us on Pickleball Recovery, buddy. My pleasure. Woo-hoo. Thank you so much, Tim. Thanks so much for listening. Do you want to know the number one mistake picklers make that leads to increased pain, soreness, stiffness, and injury? Just head over to www.pickleballrecovery.com and download my free guide to playing with less pain and more enjoyment. Listen, pickleball makes us feel young at heart, but not necessarily young in body. So go download my free guide at www.pickleballrecovery.com. See you next time.